Think how much money you'd have now. The school system had taught you how to invest. This is Thailand, the Queens Park here. Beautiful. I love all the flowers. It's crazy though. School in America, average uh, student in like a state like New York, they're dropping almost two hundred thousand dollars to educate them. But what do they know? Like when I came out of school system, I, all I could think when I started learning how to invest and make money, I was like, what if they had started teaching me this at age six? Warren Buffett filed his first tax return at age nine. So like humans have a lot, of, you had a lot of potential. I had a lot of potential, but we underperform. Now here, good and bad news. We underperform when we're young because of our environment. My mom was a single mom. She didn't know what she was doing. You know, school system didn't help. Now when you're, once you're over 18, you can't have that, you can't really make that excuse anymore. Especially now when you can self-educate so easily. You know, figure it out, figure out how to invest so you can travel the world, enjoy life and make money while you're enjoying life. That's the real thing. They should teach, there should be a class called making money while you enjoy life. We're in the medieval mindset, you know, that you delineate between what you like to do and what you make money from. What a horrible bifurcation of life. I mean, really, that's, like I said, very, like, fiefdom serfs in medieval times or you had to slave away with a man and then you know there's a whole it's like tgif thank god it's friday there's like a whole restaurant chain in the u.s based around this medieval outdated notion that you got to just wait for friday like nah make every day your friday and how do you do that well four pillars of good life health wealth love happiness you need all four rocking and rolling but and of course, American school system doesn't do well at teaching any of those four. They don't teach you social skills, psychology, reading people, public speaking. They definitely don't teach happiness, things that can contribute to happiness, gratitude, meditation, nature. Sound like that guy called my name. I just guess. People always say, Thai, are you from Thailand? I'm like, no, man. My mom was a hippie. I did my DNA. I'm 0% Asian. But anyway, you know. At the, at the core, I always say, health is the foundation, wealth is the fuel, love is the purpose, and happiness is the compass. So when you think about your life, you can use all four of those. I mean, without health, I hurt my shoulder at an Amish barn raising an Amish dude's like, yo, pick up this log. <laughs> I was like, all right, I'm gonna pick up this log. And then my pride kicked in. It was like a 200 kilo, 400 pound log. So once I hurt my arm a couple of days later, I was thinking, and we take for granted like our health. But that's why I say health's the foundation. Oh, well, it's the fuel. You got to make some money. It's the fuel of the good life. You're not going to be able to trade. You're going to be stuck. No money, no freedom. Not in this world. I mean, you can use meditation to find freedom inside the mind if you're pretty advanced. But for most people, you know, you need some money, real tall, to be able to not feel trapped. Then love, I say love's the purpose, because ultimately, it's like Dr. Buss says, like, for homo sapiens, everything's mating. At the, our core behaviors are built around reproduction. So you've got to put that as the purpose on Earth. Then happiness is the compass. If you wake up and you hate life, instead of trying to get rid of that feeling maybe it's true maybe it's a compass that's like yo you're going south when you thought you were going north so a lot of people do that a lot of people go north uh go south when they're should be going north when their mind and body wants them to go to north and then they can't figure out why they have this underlying anxiety and neurosis about life that's why anxiety is on the rise because people haven't been taught in the school system how to match up their personality that's a key thing I actually built a quiz. I'll put a link somewhere, a free quiz. It's like, here's the best digital online make money from home business based on your personality. I don't know why I don't do that at school. Because for me, introverts and extroverts should do different businesses. Like an introvert should probably do like drop shipping, AI, like an AI aid uh, consulting, or just drop shipping. E commerce is good. It doesn't have to be drop shipping, but some form of e com because you can hide behind the the screen then when it comes to your extrovert 
personal brand is the place to be. You know, this is the rise of the personal brand, the wealthiest people in the world, when they're on the Forbes list, or on the dairy influencers. Now, Elon Musk became an influencer at his core. Of course, he does other things, but that's the catalyst for what he's doing. And then if you're an ambivert, you're not quite an extrovert, not quite an introvert. Marketing agency still works. I've been teaching, I taught 40,000 people how to launch an agency since 2016. I own the trademark for SMMA, social media marketing agency in the U.S. So it's like, like that model works and there's different forms of agency. Now you can do a TikTok agency, Snap agency, podcast agency. But that thing is the quickest way that I've seen people from nothing getting 10 to 20 to 30,000 a month, which then starts to give you the freedom. I'll, I'll put that quiz link. You should try it. It's kind of cool. I'm, I've been working with some top scientists who are personality psychometric experts is what it's called that build quizzes. So this is one that actually has some cool science behind it. And if you already have a business, see if it matches up what you should you could be doing. The introvert, extrovert thing, you can look at other parameters like risk tolerance and things. That's a big one in entrepreneurship. But anyway, I'm going to go enjoy Thailand. My arms again. tired. I need one of those selfie sticks. But I can't bring myself to have one of those. So subscribe. If you got some value, I'm starting to record these day-to-day -day vlogs. Subscribe to my channel if you're getting some value here. Leave a comment. What should I talk about next?